I'm ready for Mount Whitney. Lift off in three, two, one. Welcome to the Body Mind Index podcast, where we dive into the connection between our physical and mental well being. I'm your host, Jerry Pujols, and I'm excited to have you here today. At Body Mind Index, our mission is to help you break through any physical or mental limitations so that you can unlock your full potential. My job is to gather the best information available from highly reputable resources. In this episode, episode 21, we'll be addressing a common challenge many of us encounter on our weight loss journey, breaking through plateaus. For those of you who are new to my podcast, I just want to thank you for spending some time here with me. I'm confident that you will find this information to be useful. Also, you can really help support the Body Mind Index by hitting the subscribe and like button. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my story, you know that I've been on a quest for improved and physical uh, as well as mental health. Furthermore, and simply put, a more balanced way of living. For most of my life, I focused on working hard and making money while neglecting to take care of myself. If you can relate to that, please let me know that on the show notes below. I refuse to continue on that path. I finally realized the better I am for myself, the better I am for others and those around me. Of course, this makes the first impact on those folks around us at home. And then it goes out into the world. I've successfully lost around 80 pounds and I continue to improve all of my health metrics. I've started to hit some plateaus, but breaking through plateaus has become more challenging as I continue in my quest. During the first 60 days, I lost over 40 pounds. By the way, if you want more details on how I did that, please watch episode three, how I lost 40 pounds in eight weeks. But when I reached the 50 pound mark, I encountered my first significant plateau. Interestingly enough, it seems that I hit a plateau every 10 pounds of weight loss after that. Plateaus can be increasingly frustrating, especially when it feels like our progress has come to a screeching halt. But fear not, we're here to provide you with some actionable ideas and strategies to overcome those plateaus and keep progressing towards your goals. Today, we'll discuss five effective steps you can take to break through any plateau you may encounter. So let's go ahead and get started with step number one. Review your caloric intake. This might seem simple, but it requires your undivided attention. One of the initial strategies to tackle a weight loss plateau is to review your caloric intake. Our bodies are remarkable and adaptable. Over time, they can adjust to the number of calories we consume. Consider reevaluating your caloric intake by slightly decreasing it. Making greens and vegetables the very first thing you eat is just simply smart. This will help you balance blood sugar spikes that come from carbohydrates, sugar, and processed foods. Speaking of processed foods, I would highly recommend you give those up altogether. More on that topic on an upcoming episode. I really want to get into that with you. After you eat your vegetables and your greens, then eat your protein and fats. Studies have shown that eating vegetables first at each meal will cause a decrease in calories by approximately 13, uh, 300 calories per day. I wish it was 1300. I personally prefer plant-based proteins such as tofu, beans, legumes, nuts, and seeds. But if you eat animal protein, be very mindful of the amount. The American diet has it all wrong. Animal protein should be the garnish if you choose to eat it. Conversely, if you've been consuming a surplus of calories, it might be time to cut back. Experimenting with your caloric intake can help jumpstart your progress all over again. I use the MyFitnessPal app to track my food. I love this platform because, it's, because of its simplicity and very user-friendly interface. Disclosure, full disclosure, I'm not being endorsed by this app. 
I just love the app and you can get you get to use it for free. You get to pay a little bit if you wanted to do some of the barcode scans on it, things that you shop for at the grocery store. It's very useful. And I think that scan uh, cap uh, capability is around, don't quote me, but I think it's around $20, $30 a year. Mo okay, so I'm gonna go right into step two. Step two is to modify your workout routine. Another effective approach to overcoming plateaus is by having, first is having it, or modifying your workout routine. Our bodies can become accustomed to the exercises we regularly perform, resulting in diminished results. Shake things up by incorporating new exercises, increasing intensity, or trying different training methods. High intensity interval training, such as HIIT training, strength training, or exploring new fitness classes can help challenge your body in fresh ways and reignite your progress. Now let's get into step three. Focus on strength training. If you primarily focus on cardio, it's time to consider adding strength training to your routine. Building lean muscle not only boosts your metabol metabolism, but also helps reshape your body and improve your overall strength and functionality. Now, don't worry about it. You will not bulk up. Strength training is an essential component of a well-rounded fitness program. Let's go into step four. Prioritize your sleep and stress. Sleep and stress management play a significant role in our overall well-being and weight loss journey. Inadequate sleep and health stress levels can hinder our progress. Aim for consistent and quality sleep to support your weight loss efforts. Additionally, consider incorporating stress management techniques such as meditation, yoga, engaging in hobbies that bring you joy, such things will help bring stress level down. So managing stress and getting enough rest are a crucial part of breaking through any plateau. Last step, step five, reassess your goals and motivation. Sometimes plateaus occur because we've lost sight of our goals and our motivation has waned. So take a moment to reflect on why you started your wellness journey and revisit those goals. Consider setting new short-term goals or finding ways to reignite your motivation. Tracking your progress, rewarding yourself for milestones achieved, or seeking support from friends and online communities can help you stay on track. I use my Garmin watch to see how my friends are doing with their workouts and so they can also see how I'm doing with my workout. I look forward to their messages. I look forward to their encouragement and they encourage me to keep going and I also find myself cheering them on. I personally find this to be important. This particular thing to me is super important. Don't only rely on the scale. I get a DEXA scan with a company called body spec every couple of months while I'm in weight loss mode. I, by the way, they're not sponsoring me either. So I just love their service. It costs around $50 per time, uh, sometimes 30 something, sometimes 40 something, rarely 50. Some areas around the country are a little more expensive, but a DEXA scan is the best way to assess your body composition, measuring things like body fat, muscle mass, bone density, and so much more. Remember, breaking through plateaus only works when we come to the crossroad and realize that caring and loving ourselves first is the key. Just like when on a plane, in case of an emergency, we are instructed to place the oxygen mask on ourselves first before helping others. I think it's important to realize that by helping ourselves first, we have the ability to then help others. Zig Ziglar once said, Help as many people get what they want so you can get as much of what you want. It all starts only by helping yourself first so you can help those other people. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please help me support my podcast by hitting that subscribe and like button. Make today the day you put yourself first. Again, I want to thank you for joining me on this episode on the Body Mind Index podcast. We've discussed effective steps to break through plateaus and continue progressing towards your goals. Remember, plateaus are a natural part of any journey, but 
any with, with any journey, the right strategies and mindset can help you overcome any plateau. Keep reviewing your caloric intake, modifying your workout routine, focusing on strength training, prioritizing sleep and stress management, and reassessing your goals and motivation. By taking these steps and prioritizing your own prioritizing your own well-being, you can unlock your full potential and achieve the results you so desire. I encourage you to practice self-care, track your progress, and find joy in the process. This is key. Together, we can break through any plateau and create lasting positive change in our lives. Thank you again for listening, and don't forget to subscribe and like the podcast to support our mission. Make today the day you come first, and until the next time, take care of your body and your mind. Goodbye.